Think that you know how to use E-Rank fully? Well, I'm here to bet that you don't. Today, we're gonna to talk about three tips and tricks to using E-Rank that most people do not know about. And I guarantee, even if you've used E-Rank for years, you are about to learn at least one new thing. So first, let's find what products are trending. Really, the keywords showing up just under the trends here are not that helpful. Halloween, sure, personalized gift, gift, fall decor, fall clothing, pretty generic, can't make too many decisions on those. But at the side here, we can actually hone this down into the product that we sell. And if you do print on demand, which my channel is about mostly print on demand is I sell print on demand on Etsy, you can even break this down by different print on demand products. So let's take a look at sweatshirts. Okay, so this gives us some more ideas of some helpful niches that are currently trending. This is for the month prior because it does take a while to pull data, but it still helps us see where the trend is going. Okay, so we see Halloween sweatshirt is doing extremely well, but we're still gonna need to sub niche that down to really start making some sales, especially if you are a brand new seller. So we're actually gonna click right into the Halloween sweatshirt. And now under this trending Halloween sweatshirt, we can find even more sub niche down niches that we can succeed in because they have less competition. So scrolling down, we see ones like Halloween embroidered sweatshirt, Halloween sweatshirt embroidered. We're not going to do Halloween town that is copyrighted. So is Nike. We have Halloween sweatshirt plus size, Halloween mama sweatshirt. And another thing we can do is start to study what best sellers there are within this niche. So if we actually scroll up at the top here, you're going to see these four little tags up here. We have search engine result page analysis. We have top tags and top listings. And I actually like to take a look at the top listings. So now we can study what's doing hot within this niche right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this by estimated sales and we're going to see what is doing great. And even better if we can find ones with listing age that was recently new. So this this was added in the last three months has already 1500 sales. So you can open this, you can study it and you can see what you can improve on to make this a design for you without stealing it or how you can change it enough to be something of your own. Using this, you can also see what tags people are using to get these really good sales. So this person has used Halloween Town shirt, Halloween Town, Halloween sweatshirt, Halloween party, Halloween gifts. Again, please don't do Halloween Town. What E-Rank does not do is they do not check for copyright. So this is something that is on you. If you are profiting off of someone else's brand, Halloween Town is a movie, it is a brand, then they can come after you. But Scrolling down, we can just see ones that are doing really well. We have bougie sweater, boo Halloween. So we have Halloween party, Halloween sweatshirt, trendy sweatshirt, spooky sweatshirt, fall season sweatshirt. They were listed 25 days ago and they have 96 sales already. We have this one right here, Halloween sweatshirt, ghost cows. So there's a bunch of cows in a ghost costume. Maybe you could do a version of this with a different animal. If you want to expand the context a bit, you can also open the SERP tag up here, which is search engine results page. So that is analyzing the top hundred listings on Google. And you can see the average price is $30. You can find some of the other most popular tags. You can take a look at the average processing times for these so you can just get a little bit of a view of where you want to price this at and where you are in the competition. So coming back to our monthly trends, this time I put a shirts filter on. So I'm looking at the most popular search for shirts right now. We have Halloween shirt, Christmas shirt, teacher shirt, custom shirt. Let's take a look at what is trending for Christmas shirts. And there's actually a lot of sub niches underneath Christmas shirts. And I can scroll through all of these, or if there are way too many results, then a quick way to go through all these is we're going to export this and we're gonna export it as an Excel sheet. And then you're gonna open this in either Excel or in Google Sheets. I don't have Excel, so I'm opening it in Google Sheets. So now I've just moved my list over to Excel. And the reason I wanna do this is so I I can format this sheet to easily find the keywords that have high search, low competition. To do this, I'm actually just gonna delete this row and then I'm gonna select everything, go to data, and then I'm gonna go to create a filter. And then what I do is I do average searches. So I'm gonna click this little filter button right here. I'm gonna do filter by condition. And then I'm going to do greater than, we're gonna do at least 50 searches a month. I'm gonna hit okay. 
And then I'm gonna go to Etsy competition. I'm gonna add a filter there as well. Filter by condition that I'm gonna do is less than. And then let's say we're looking for ones that have a less than 5,000 competition and we're gonna hit okay. And now what I have is I have a list of all the sub niche Christmas shirts that still have room for a new person to grow in. So we have Christmas superlative shirt, ICU Christmas shirt, maternity Christmas shirt, sequin, hug Christmas shirt, Hawaiian, Christmas trees, Merry Christmas shirt, that's an SVG. We have sassy Christmas shirt. We have SLP Christmas shirt. We have all of the sub niches that have still a decent amount of searches, but have a lot less competition. So we can take a look at both of those here to find the average searches and the competition. You can also just delete these because I don't take a look at these. So I'm just going to delete these columns. I'm gonna delete the character count. And there we go. Now I have the average searches compared to the Etsy competition within the ranges that I'm happy with. And then back on E-Rank, I can search up one of the keywords that I had found that I want to design in. And then we can also study the best sellers in there. So then I can go on over to top listings. And this one is doing pretty great. Take a look at these stats, 322 searches with Etsy competition, only 183. We can sort by sales. And then we can find the top listings within those keywords. And then I can do the same thing if I want to find ones that were recently listed but are still making sales, I can export as CSV or Excel again, do the exact same thing, bring it over to Google Sheets and then add a filter to do max posted within the last three months and then still making maybe five sales. So you can study the ones that were recently posted but are still making sales. The next thing I want to show you is how to spy on competitor tags and find the tags that they're using that have high search, low competition. So first on Etsy, you're gonna go find a Etsy shop that is similar to one that you want to be like. You can grab a few of them. I like to grab a few at a time, but I'm gonna show you the example with Ikerson LTD, which is one of the most known print on demand t-shirt shops, and they have just been killing it. So I'm gonna do a little study on them. We're gonna go to competition. We're gonna go down to tags, and then we're going to enter their shop name, and then we're gonna hit analyze shop listings. Once the list has loaded, you are going to get a list of a bunch of different tags that they have used and you're going to see their searches and their Etsy competition. So one way to quickly do this, though it does take a while to load, is by going on and either sorting by average searches or sorting by competition and then scrolling through this list of over a thousand different keywords. Or we can do the same tool that we did earlier and we're going to export to Excel and then I'm going to reopen it in Google Sheets. And then for me, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. So it's a little bit cleaner for me to look at. I'm just gonna delete some of these. And then we're gonna go to data. We're gonna do create a filter. And then under average searches, I'm going to find searches that are greater than, let's do about 50 again, 50 searches a month. Okay, and then let's do competition that has less than, and then let's set it to about 5,000 again. And now we have some new niche ideas that have searches and low competition. So board game shirt, dad of twin shirt, donkey shirt, miniature dash hound, boob shirt, <laughs> drag race t-shirt, funny ballet shirt. And again, usually I go through multiple different stores and do this exact same thing till I have a large list of brand new niches. And then I can start doing research on those niches within E-Rank by searching them up and then going on over to listings to find the best sellers and to find out what other tags people are using along with this tag right here. E-Rank has tons of use cases. If you watch my videos, usually there is some point where I'm validating my data using E-Rank. But in today's video, I just wanted to show you some of the less known features of E-Rank that I haven't seen too many people talking about, but are extremely helpful when I'm doing my research. So let me know if you use E-Rank and if you learned anything new today. Thanks guys.